Hey there guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time it's around 3.40. Um, woke up a while back, last two days a little bit unwell. To, took like total rest and all that. So after a couple of days I'm back. Hopefully you guys, doing, you guys are doing good. And I have something really, really special to review today. And this fragrance is called Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Beau Le Parfum. Okay. So this one is a flanker to the original Le Beau. And this is not really like this year's release. This was 2020 two release okay 2022 and uh, from this line you know now the game is getting stronger right behind it you can see Lamal Alexa and before this they had some great fragrances like Lamal Ultra Male you know uh, Popeye Au Fraiche Lamal Essence de Parfum so there are many more I reviewed I, I lost track how many I reviewed just go Lamal Jean-Paul Gaultier Joy Ami you'll see many other reviews and uh, this one was under my radar for a very long time and I waited for a very long time to get this. So uh, thanks to my friend who got it from overseas, okay, for me. And this one, I don't think in Bangladesh is readily available that much and it's very expensive. So we'll talk about if it's worth the money because nowadays fragrances are expensive, okay. And if you do have a sweet tooth, you know, if you do like sweet fragrances, this is going to be right up your alley. I'm going to let you know uh, longevity, seasons, who is it for, what it smells like, notes from Fragrantica, of course, and then I'll compare a little bit with the original uh, Le Beau, okay, which is this one. So this is my backup bottle. Just want to put it next to each other just to show comparison to different fragrances. And uh, I will also tell you one thing. When you do shopping online, make sure you buy the Le Beau uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, not Le Beau Mall. Okay, this is like a fresher version that I have. I don't remember which year I bought it. I reviewed it. This is Le Beau Mall, totally different line. Okay, so if you have Le Beau Mall, uh, that's a different line than Le Beau. Okay, just uh, let you know. If you end up buying the wrong fragrance, they will be like really shocked. So let's go one by one. Uh, one thing is this fragrance pricing. Okay, this is 125 ml, the big bottle version. This one is selling somewhere like 120 dollars to 30. Okay, I paid around 120 for this for 125 ml. These are all retail from duty free airport. Okay, and you can buy I think maybe 75 ml and maybe later they always you uh, usually release 200 ml. I don't know if they, it does have those sizes, but that's the uh, price. So this one typical tin can like the other Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal line but Le Mal and Le Beau is not the same line but they do have the main torso that feature name of the fragrance so name of the house Le Beau Le Parfum so the main thing you always look in the airport I'll tell you someone actually I know got the wrong perfume while they bought it in a rush they look kind of identical when you see them in a uh, shopping mall or airport when you are running especially if you are on duty free make sure do not rush and always double check what you're getting because Sometimes what happened, my friend uh, ordered this, like hey, he, he tried it and then he's like, I'm going to take it. But later they packed him this one and they knew, I think purposely done because he specifically asked for Le Parfum and he ended up being owning two bottles of it. So make sure you buy, buy Le Parfum and they should have made a different coloration. It's not the same, but you know, people can get really confused. The original Le Beau came in EDT. This one is Le Parfum and it's EDP intense concentration. The name is just Le Parfum. 125 mil, 125 mil, same, everything. It's EDT and this is called EDP Intense. So I did not take out the plastic for a reason. Okay, if you turn it, you'll see one thing. The beautiful picture of the bottle at the back. This other indication is the Le Parfum. Uh, like, uh, yes. So the darker bottle, compare, you can see the side by side, I'll show you. But if you take out the sticker, you know, sorry, not the sticker, the plastic wrapping, this picture actually is sort of like with the plastic wrapping. So if you threw it out, this thing will be gone. So I just kept it for a like purpose and then underneath, let me show you one thing it's like this but it's a really painful sometimes to like dig your you know i've never been a fan of it so usually it's very difficult to take out uh, the bottom to take out the uh, bottle okay so be careful with your uh, <laughs> nails here is the nice little bottle it's really macho and masculine really beautiful i just love this bottle i think perhaps the same bottle they used not much difference but this one looks more tropical you know the nice little juice color is similar it also has the leaf okay but the dark tone gives it a very masculine feel and does have a stopper 125 mil base looks like that and the golden and uh, green combo looks good i'm wearing this here let's spray once more okay let it settle down and we'll talk about it so i'm sorry i'm going a bit slow and the video is going to be a little bit long because uh, the aftermath of the sickness you know always gets you down so what you get from this while it dries down uh, i think lamal uh, sorry labo le parfum has so many more notes than Original Lebo. Lebo basically was a tropical coconut sweet fresh fragrance which was compared to 
Kenzo Home Night, which is much longer lasting than this, but this is a very uh, popular summer fragrance. It does have decent longevity around 7 out of 10, but uh, this one and this one has so many differences. Okay, let me tell you the notes of Lebo basically. It has bergamot, coconut, and tonka beans. This one, okay, and this one you can see the juice is beautiful. So, what's the other one have? Other one has so many more notes layered to it: pineapple, iris, cypress, ginger, coconut, woody notes, tonka bean, sandalwood, amber, and amber green. So, first thing you spray on this, I was uh, expecting to be a huge burst of sweetness, which this one does have. I definitely will tell you this is a sweet fragrance. If you like fragrances like Jean Paul Gaultier's Scandal, La Molle Elixir, something like Spice Bomb, One Million Eros, you know these kind of fragrances, this will be like very easy for you to like this is uh, honestly speaking a sweet fragrance lovers dream okay to have this but what i expected from it was gonna be very loud like uh you know something like some of the other fragrance that i have like what can i say um maybe one of the one million flankers which is gonna be like or like oh yeah yeah i remember uh upper one uh, man sorry this fragrance i was expecting to be this sweet you know this is one of my favorite fragrances Invictus Alexa. Let's just keep it here for fun. Or let me remove this. Okay. So I was expecting that. So this one does have the sweetness of that, but that one is way more louder. I'll compare it. But this one is more sophisticated sweetness. I would definitely not say this is an office wearable perfume, but even if you wear it there, there's a touch of sophistication in there. So this one definitely performance was beast. Really, really good. I would say Alexa is 10. This is like a 9 out of 10. Okay. And even this one, <coughs> they are kind of comparable, but uh, fragrance was out of the two this is way better fragrance but this is more like a 9 out of 10 performer so performance was very good when to wear this so the, all the fruity notes sweetness you know you might feel this is summer tropical fragrance no i think this is a fragrance to wear in uh, early days of fall you know you can also wear it in nighttime of summer when it rains like a cool breeze it just rained it will smell fantastic but this is more on the sweeter side still so you can definitely smell that pineapple it's very juicy i think they brought back some of the ultra male in this i feel some of the ultra male is in there and i always feel ultra male had that pineapple even though they say grapefruit or pear so this one i feel is a very sweet fruity opening and slowly uh, it starts getting more sophisticated it reminds me of some of the sophisticated ones from pakuraban like one million pre day one million royal one million uh, elixir was it yes <clears throat> so this is in that family this will be like a four to five sprays to last like a one one wearing to last you like seven to eight hours shirt and skin combined so definitely way better performer than this and definitely more darker and sweeter like the coconut in this is very very beautiful and the tonka bean of course it will enhance the sweetness so all, it's already been in the market for a very long time i just want to try it finally got my hands on it and if you ask me like uh, what's so special about this fragrance is it a must have i would tell you if you already have something in line of lamal elixir invictus elixir if you have those i would tell you uh, perhaps no you know perhaps no i'll break your heart because they're all the sweet same family fragrance okay they have they have their differences they're not the same uh elixir definitely gives me more of a like it, it, this fragrance is straight up all night or 12 hours plus so performance wise out of the two i'll pick invictus elixir and uh like scent profile wise i like all of them all of them are great but if you already have all these sweet fragrances and you're not a collector you just want something different this will not be anything different that much but if you have been a fan of lebo this would be an upgrade by far okay um so this is a fun fragrance tropical fresh sweet uh, i would say still say fresh because this one has that coconut that gives that beach vibe and it's not a fresh fragrance but fresh sweeter fragrance so uh, it's up to you, but I would tell you uh, sniff it if possible and uh, try it on your skin. If you like it, then get it only. But otherwise, if you already have a huge collection of sweet fragrances, this might be redundant purchase. Who is it for? If you're a collector and you like this line religiously, I love Lamal, Le Beau, Jean Paul, like religiously, whatever I can find, I think it's going to be good. Buy, I buy it. Nowadays, I just don't like that whole idea of a uh, fresh, like Lamal, Popeye, Fresh, Superman. These lines I don't buy anymore because they are all the same. So this is a very impressive release i'm going to make i was thinking to make like a top fragrances like of this year but uh, i think if i'm okay i'll be doing it in december so top 10 top 20 you know this fragrance is highly likely gonna be there some of my best buys this year this is gonna be there so there you go lebo 
uh, Le Parfum, fantastic release. I just love the darkness of the bottle. Looks super cool, super cool. This the price is expensive, and I suspect the price is not going to go down in a GFE. Like uh, I would not be telling you you can get this for after two months for sixty five dollars. I don't think that's going to be the case. Minimum hundred dollars, so minimum. Okay, so at this price point, uh, is it worth it? Now it is everything is expensive. Every single thing I bought in Victor's Elixir for hundred fifty dollars around there for 200 ml so go for 200 ml if that's out that's gonna be the best value okay smaller bottle you get you're gonna get less value okay so performance wise fanta why do you get it it's sweet it's lovable it has all the notes it has beautiful iris playing with the sweetness that's what gives you the sophistication and then the coconut woody tonka sandalwood these are really really like a like a nice smooth ending to the fragrance so uh, that's why you should get it longevity bottle smell and then how much more you get from this than over Lebo. I would get this out of the two. I would get easily Lebo Le Parfum. Why wouldn't you get it? Could be redundant, could be too expensive, and could be too sweet for your liking. And then this could be not really a uh, formal fragrance. Like with a suit, if you wear this, people may not take you seriously. This is a party fragrance. And this is a fragrance where you're having like, you know, year-end office parties, Christmas, you know, New Year's Eve. Put this on, like going out clubbing. You're going to have a nice night. You're going to have some booze and uh, like dating this is an ideal this is sweet sexy trend this definitely follows the trend but out of the two alex and victus and this uh, i would go for a little bit i just have a little bit more uh, preference towards this but smell wise this is better performance wise this is better overall this and this out of the two i'll give this 8.5 out of 10 lamal alexa i give it nine i think right and this one i'll give it 10 so you see where it is i'll review really them maybe in a couple of months until then, this is a win for me, okay? Take care. Thanks for watching. Do let me know your opinion on this or, uh, you know, what you think of this fragrance. Have a nice day. Let's move on to a list.